I had two conversations recently that were really funny. One uh, with a man who was somewhat undersized in his opinion that wanted bigger arms. And then another woman who wanted to get more lean, wanted to get more toned, wanted more defined arms. And I found it funny that from a training strategy perspective, I was having a very similar conversation with both of them on what we would be doing, what exercises we would do for arms, and what the rep range would be. And I think a lot of uh, men think that because they want bigger arms, they need to go really heavy, and they need to keep the rep ranges really low, um, and they need to push themselves like extravagantly hard every single session. And women think that they need to go really light weights to tone and do a ton of reps and really feel the burn in order to get toned. And they find that burning sensation to be synonymous with muscle toning. Um, but the conversation was pretty much the same in that we're going to stay in rep ranges that are 8 to 20 or so for bicep and tricep exercises in regards to arm training specifically. And uh, we're going to push ourselves pretty hard in each individual set that we do. Um, they're both going to be using different weights, but they're both going to be using somewhat similar exercises. Uh, they're going to have volume that's respective to where they currently are and where we want them to get to over the course of a program. Uh, but the strategy isn't going to be the same from a nutrition standpoint. So in the weight room, we may be doing the same thing. But the biggest difference here of why one person, the guy who wants to put on 15 pounds and get huge arms, and the woman that wants to lose 15 pounds and get toned arms, is that they're eating strategies should be significantly different. Their training strategies might not be all that different. So this guy might need to eat a ton more calories, a ton more protein, and then this woman might need to eat more protein, but significantly fewer calories to get more toned. So in regards to arm training, there's really not a huge training difference in regards to trying to get huge arms and trying to get super toned arms. Uh, but your choices in the kitchen should probably be significantly different.